everybody, in today's video I am going to be showing you a couple of the little bits and pieces I have bought recently in the way of clothing. So I have some ASOS and some Zara. I don't actually remember what I bought, which I think is not a good sign. <laughs> I think I did this when I got back from Amsterdam and I was unpacking my suitcase and I just thought, I'm gonna see what's new in. It's the new in section that gets me every time. I'm so excited, okay. First thing looks, it says duck egg on it. What is this? If there's anything in these that I keep, then make sure you go on over and subscribe to my vlogging channel, which is where I do more like outfit of the days and stuff. Um, and also a lot of this stuff is very summery, but I like this. It looks cute. It has short sleeves. They're quite wide. It goes in at the middle and it's quite short, but it's also quite girly and cutesy. I like it. I think this is a shirt. Mm. This is just a plain white shirt. This is from Misguided. Um, it has like frilly fluted sleeves. And I think it's cropped, it has buttons down the middle and it's a V. It's got like a deep V. I don't love the fabric of this, I'm not gonna lie. It feels quite thin and like cheapy, but um, I was hoping to wear this with some skinny jeans. I just thought it would look quite nice with like a gold necklace and some sandals in the summer. So that was like my intention with that. Now this, I am hoping fits me. This is a kind of 80s vibe spotty jumpsuit with, um, I guess these are kind of short three quarter length rolled up sleeves. And then it sort of comes in to the middle with these like big gold buttons. And then you have the trousers. I really, I'm envisaging this to look so glam. I just don't know if this will look how I want it to look, but the vision is strong and it's quite thick, so I think it would be okay to wear now, actually. Maybe with a leather jacket on top. What is this? Oh, okay. I don't hate it so much now. This is French Connection and this is a jumpsuit, so it has this lovely back to it that you can tie up and very loose sleeves. Um, has a zip down the back and then three quarter length kind of culotte style trousers. I think this looks quite nice. This would look really nice with just a white t-shirt underneath for now. Um, it looks very wide. I guess you can just tie this up a bit tighter but it looks like it could be quite exposing on the old breastage area. I liked that. So that was uh, French Connection. I haven't bought anything from French Connection in honestly like 10 years. Oh, this is, oh my gosh, this is so soft. Holy guacamole. I just wanted a plain white jumper that wasn't too thick that I could put underneath dungarees or play suits or just to kind of wear underneath things um, because I didn't really, didn't really have any just thin plain white jumpers. So I picked up this one. This is the brand Jacqueline de Young. Guys, this is like the softest jumper I have ever owned. It's lovely. 16 pounds, that's really not bad. So yeah, just a plain white jumper. Trying to buy jumpers that are slightly more thin because I feel like, I mean, I'm hoping for a bit more spring-like weather. And in the spring-like weather, the jumpers don't need to be so thick. So that's what I'm kind of hoping. I made a very brave purchase. <laughs> this is by Motel. Um, and 
Oh, it doesn't feel very nice. It feels very thin. But this is a kind of astronomy style, very tight uh, jumpsuit. I don't know when I might wear this, but it's the sort of thing that I just thought I would love to wear something like that. And I wonder if I could pull it off. I don't know, maybe if, you know, on the rare occasion that Mark and Alfie convince me to go on a night out, I might wear this. Um, but yeah, that was a brave purchase. I'm not too sure what I was thinking with that, but it, I mean, it could look really nice. Imagine leggings, but over your whole body as a jumpsuit. So it's like very, very figure hugging. Oh, this was cute. This is just an ASOS gray t-shirt that says hi in faux leopard fur. Just hi. You know I like my t-shirts that are a bit quirky and have something a bit different on them. So I thought that was a nice additive to my wardrobe. Why did I buy these? I think I was on another planet when I placed this order, guys. These are some earrings. I mean, I don't think they'd look so bad, but they, um, they have balls on. I think it's just the diamante bit up here that I didn't realize they had. And I'm not as keen on that bit. Some earrings. Oh, I got some belts. Let me see. Belts are the sort of thing I always just forget to buy new ones of because I have some that I use all the time and I just never think to get any others. I just, I use the same belt like all the time pretty much because I just never know if I'm buying a belt for my hips or for my waist. Oh, this says waist, waist and hip. I mean... I have a very tiny waist, which I am not complaining about because I actually really like my waist, but it does mean buying belts is very difficult and these do not fit around my waist, which is slightly annoying. I wonder if maybe I could just have these for if I'm wearing jeans on my hips, which I don't tend, I don't tend to wear jeans on my hips too much. I'm much more of like a high-waisted mom jeans type wearer personally. Oh, and then I went a bit hat crazy. I forgot about this. I bought loads of hats on the premise that not all of these are going to look good or fit. So the first one I bought is just this one that says go away, which I really liked. I mean, it's quite big. Why is my head so small? I'll try that on with like my hair down and back combed and you know, curly maybe. <laughs> the more volume, the better. I also picked up this hat. What's this thing that they put around it? Very interesting. This one you can adjust the size of. Thank heavens. A nice style hat, you know? It looks freaking massive. I'm not sure about this. I find hats very, very hard to get right. Hence why I've ordered like four hats. Mm, I don't mind it. It definitely is more like wintry. Then I got this one. This one you can also adjust. That's good. Oh, I like this one. This one's nicer. It's very floppy. Yeah, I don't mind this. I think this one's my favorite so far, for sure. And then the last one. Mm, I don't know that I even liked this before I put it on my head. No. No. So one out of three. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, these glasses, again, an adventurous purchase because I love the style of these. However, my head makes things slightly difficult with stuff like this because they either suit my head shape or they really, really don't. So we are all about to find out together. 
uh, no. <laughs> oh my god. If these were smaller, I would love them, but why is everything so big on my head? I think I might have to start shopping in the child section. If there are any other pea-headed uh, guys or gals out there, please will you let me know where you buy your hats and sunglasses? Because sometimes ASOS nail it. When you can select the size of a hat, I'm okay. Sunglasses are hit and miss. You either order some and they're smaller and they look great, or you order some and you put them on like those and you're like, why is my head so small? Let me know guys, help a fellow pea header out. I also picked up this because I was watching my friend Susie's vlog, Hello October. You should check out her channel if you don't already. I love her and I love her videos. She was wearing this. This is labeled as a swimming costume, but it's velvet and lace. Like, I don't know what getting velvet is wet is like, but I don't really, I don't know. It's a very interesting concept, wet velvet. Um, but she was wearing this uh, as like a body with a pair of shorts and I thought it looked really lovely. So I'm going to try this on and see what I think. I probably won't wear it as a swimming costume. I'll probably just wear it as a top, um, but it's so nice. It has like, let me see if you can, very pretty. This one looks very tiny though. I may have gone a size too small. This is not going to fit over my breast. I mean, halfway. Okay, I may have to go up a size, but I will try that on. Oh. I bought a pair of these trousers in a very bright pink and I love them. And one color that I do think screams spring is bright yellow. Like, even if I just wore these with this little t-shirt, I just love, I love smart trousers a lot. Um, and the pink ones that I bought recently, I've worn quite a lot. So I just thought it would be nice to go for some bright yellow ones. Just as like a little nod to Easter. I bought this from Pull and Bear. And on the, on the picture, I couldn't work out what kind of material it was, but I was kind of hoping it wasn't this material. And it is, but, I'm not, I'm not hating it, if I'm honest. This hanger's very peculiar, isn't it? I don't think it's meant to be like that. Or like that. Oops. <laughs> I mean, it looks more like a hanger now. This is from Pull and Bear. It's like, a, it's more of a mustardy yellow, but it's, it's a very like soft jersey-ish fabric. I kind of like it. It's sort of like a very smart blazer cardigan. Like, I would probably just wear it over this t-shirt. It's a bit more of like a thin coat. Um, I don't know, I kind of like it. I might roll the sleeves up, maybe. I wouldn't, probably wouldn't do the button up, but pop the collar a bit. Yeah, I don't mind it. I quite like it. It's probably one of those things, again, when the weather starts to warm up, that is nicer to throw on than like a full on coat. I thought I'd get myself some new dungarees because I have one pair that's two years old from Topshop, which are starting to go very, very stiff and they're becoming quite uncomfortable to wear. Um, so I thought I would get some more. Um, these ones also are a lot more of a skinny fit because the ones I have are very baggy and these are by Cheap Monday. Um, and they're just a very dark black colour. But I flipping love dungarees so much. You can wear them in every season. Like they are the one staple thing that I would say everyone should have in their wardrobe because you can wear thicker jumpers and layers under them in winter with a coat on top. You can wear them in summer with a bandeau underneath. I've done that a few times. Um, you can roll up the legs and you can wear them with like thinner jumpers in spring. Like the possibilities are endless with dungarees. They're an all year round wardrobe staple. So I also picked up, oh, these are cheap Monday as well. God, I went on a bit of a cheap Monday spree. 
um, some baggier just blue denim ones because again I have some old ones but they are kind of getting a bit old and like I've worn them so much I wanted something like new but yeah they look quite nice as well those ones are more of a baggy style okay so that's everything from ASOS oh no I also picked up this do you ever go on the gifting section of ASOS because I love it they have some really weird random stuff on there sometimes and there was this little book and I was like oh this is cute I might put this on my desk or in my office somewhere and it says girl power and it just has loads of quotes from cool women in it better to live one year as a tiger than a hundred as a sheep Madonna oh my god I love that I'm not bossy I'm the boss Beyonce uh, so yeah it's a book of quotes by lots of cool women um, so I thought that would be a really nice thing to have in the office just to inject a bit of inspiration and also it just looks cute <laughs> okay on to Zara I do feel like this time of year is a really weird in-betweeny time in the shops because it's still cold so everyone is still wearing like their winter clothing but all the shops have summer things in like there's bikinis and like straw hats and I'm just I'm just not quite there yet <laughs> I flip in love opening these Zara boxes it's very satisfying oh, and then they put like oh I just love it huh? did I order this oh I did order this this is a jumpsuit oh I love the color of this so much it's a burnt orange rust colour and it has short sleeves and oh it has pockets on the front and the back look at that and it's just big and baggy and it's a jumpsuit imagine this with a straw hat that fits my pea head oh okay now these I am so into I haven't bought a pair of like platform trainers ever I see people wearing them and I think they look so cool but I just have never bought any until I saw these they're not even trainers they're like shoes how freaking cool are these I love them they were only 30 pounds as well um, so yeah I picked these up I think these would go great with this outfit just saying I hope I actually get some use out of them though I hope I don't like get a little scared to wear them because they are a tiny bit out of my comfort zone I don't do heels and I love like shoes and trainers yet this for me is kind of a combination of the two so I don't know how I feel about them but I just think they look so cool I bought some headscarves slash scarves to tie around your neck I've seen so many people wearing like plain jumpers or you know the plain white jumper that I had maybe with some dungarees and then these tied around their neck and it just looks so nice oh I bought some more shoes I don't normally buy shoes from Zara but I was quite impressed with their shoe choice um these are some leather loafer type things I just wanted some very plain slip-on nice smart-ish shoes to wear with the kind of types of trousers I've been really enjoying wearing which is like the yellow ones I've got pins and needles in my foot and I just really liked the look of these with the big gold chain on I thought they were really nice I then also got this bag which actually I am very late to the party with the whole um <laughs> like hessian style bags i am aware of that i just wanted to make sure it was going to be a thing that was around for a while you know <laughs> so i picked up this one from zara it has wooden handles which i absolutely love but it also has a long strap so you can put it over your shoulder um, and it has this really nice somewhat squashed tassel i'll tell you why i got this one i like the size of this some of them I've seen are very small and some of them I've seen are huge which I think if you're going like shopping you can use it as like a shopper if you're going for a huge one which I'm pretty sure I did order actually 
I did order a huge one and it's not here. Um, but I liked this size because it's a really good in-between size. And I thought this would be great for housing all my things. So yeah, got that as well. I am ready for summer. Oh, how cute would this outfit be? You've got the jumpsuit, the bag, and the spotty shoes. I love that. I am for sure going to dress with those. So yes, there are a lot of things in here that I'm really chuffed with. A few that I will probably send back, as you may have seen. <laughs> that is my little kind of in between spring, winter and spring haul. I really hope you liked it. I'm gonna take this off now because I'm boiling hot. I'm filming in my conservatory again today and I said to Alfie before I started filming, I was like, I feel like I need sunglasses filming this. I've probably been like this the whole video, like, oh. For one of my next videos, I really want to do a Q&A because I haven't done one of those in so long and I absolutely love sitting down and like getting to answer loads of your questions and feeling like I'm interacting on a slightly more personal level. Um, so, if you have any questions at all that you would love me to answer, please leave them um, in the comments of this video or go over to my most recent Instagram and leave your questions there for me. I would absolutely love to select some of the best ones and answer them in next Monday's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. I know that so many of you are so lovely and you do do it anyway, but just as a reminder. And don't forget to press the bell to be notified, press subscribe if you wanna to subscribe to my channel and remember to go on over to my vlogging channel if you want to see me combining any of these things and putting some outfits together because that is where I will most likely be wearing them. And also I will of course leave links to everything that I can in the description box so that you can go over and check them out yourself. And I'll see you next week with another video. Bye guys.